Hello friends and welcome back to online study for you and today I am here with one new topic that is para jumbles. Now para jumble is a topic which is very important because recently you must have seen some question in TCS NQT exam and of course reading plays a very important role because you have to attempt so many question in very less amount of time. So in such cases if you are practicing regularly, uh, if you are reading carefully, it can improve, it can be improved. So keeping this in mind, today we are here with some questions of a para jumbles. Now, not uh, only the discussion of questions, uh, some examples, but, but also we will see the right approach to attempt such kind of question. One thing which I want to uh, be very clear with that if you are going to face such competitive exams, reading habit should be there so that see in exams you are having very less time. In that particular time you have to read, you have to understand the concept, you have to understand the uh, essence of the question, you have to understand what is the meaning to be con which is question is uh, you know uh, giving so this this will become by practicing only now let us see the questions now with, when we are doing some question i suggest you to take one rough notebook or pen or pencil with you so that you can write down this particular sequence okay so uh, starting with this uh, first uh, question let me tell you one thing about para jumbles what para jumbles is see in para jumbles in such questions there are a few statements given okay they are not in proper arrangement we have to arrange these uh, statements in a particular order which can convey which can give you a proper meaningful statement now in such type of question how question comes generally see here i have written some uh, i have written one starting statement and one ending statement and these are four points p q r s here they are not in a particular order you have to arrange them and you have to uh, you know arrange them in such a order so that they can give you a particular meaning they can you know form a meaning meaningful statement now what first thing you have to keep in your mind when you have seen this question just see the options Yes, you just got it right. Don't just look for the question. Just see the uh, options here. When your options are such like, see, here two options are starting from Q and one option is starting from P and one option is starting from S. That means it is very clear that your option will, uh, your, uh, you know, sequence will not start with are here now you have to check out with this q p s generally uh, this process this method helps a lot because sometimes it happens that all the options are starting from one single uh, letter like only q in all the four uh, options so that in in such cases you don't need to try every statement right now let us see if i am starting it with P. See the first statement, a starting statement will be the traveler said, can you tell me the way to the nearest inn? Okay, now if I start it with a, a statement number P, that is, do you want one in which you can spend the night? See, here question has been asked. Now the next step will be some answer, right? After question, there will, there will be no question repetition. So, there will be some answer. So, I think P cannot uh, be the reliable one. Now, if I am going for Q, they are saying, yes, sad the peasant. Now, after question, there comes an answer. The traveler said, can you tell me the way to the nearest inn? Yes, sad the peasant. So, I think this can be my first uh, letter first statement that is q then again i am having two options with q p s r and q s r p q after uh, q let me try the p 
uh, P statement number P. That is, do you want one in which you can spend the night? Okay. Yes. Uh, see, here traveler, ha traveler has asked the question that can you tell me the way to nearest inn? Answer comes a yes, said the peasant. Now, a counter question from the peasant will come that do you want one in which you can spend the night? Okay. So, this can be the second one. Now, if I choose S along uh, S on the place of P, yes, replied the traveler. Now, what you think? After this, yes, said the peasant means one after one answer, then there should not be another answer in a consequent, uh, you know, consequent manner. So, I think the second one, uh, P, do you want in which you can spend the night? Now, this question is from peasant's side. Then, after this question, there should be an answer that is S. Yes, replied the traveler. And see, we are going in a... Uh, proper sequence of Q, P, S, R and the last statement go right down the road and turn to the left full stop and then comes thanks a lot. It's thanks a lot actually. So I think uh, this can be the fourth one. So Q, P, S, uh, R this can be the right. This is the right um, option. Now see what we have done is I have just gone through the options Okay, and try to, you know, relate the statements along with the options. Moving on to the next question. Money is not the root of all evils. And here I can see the option as Q, R, P, S, S, P, Q, R, R, S, P, Q and Q, P, R, S. That means I have to start it with Q, S, R, S these three letters right q s and r there will be no starting from a p now let us start the uh, uh, first checking out first option q r p s q money is not the root of all evils even purposeless cruelty can be seen in many instances of evil behavior so i think this is the appropriate one let me put this as one after this, second is R. For example, neither teachers nor parents profit in any way by torturing a children. And then uh, they have given P. Or what about uh, the desire for power driving or people to horrible crimes? I think there are two options with uh, starting with Q. So if I tried this one... Uh, if I choose P here on the second number or what about the desire for power driving people to horrible crimes. Here you see one thing. See, after this uh, statement, statement number Q, after this statement, there should be one example to prove this point right. Even purposeless cruelty can be seen in many instances of evil behavior. For example, right? To justify the statement, there is uh, the one. There should be one example. For example, neither teachers nor parents profit in any way of torturing children. So I am putting it as the second option. Next option should be a C. Now this cannot be possible. Okay. Now if I start my uh, paragraph with S, S is the Money is not the root of all evils. The evil of sexual offenders are not motivated by final financial gains. Or I can start it with R. For example, now I cannot start it with R because for example, uh, you know, just without passing any statement, uh, why we are giving example here. Okay, so there should be one statement which can justify this example. So, uh, in such kind of question, example can, here example cannot be the sec, uh, first statement to start with. So I think this uh, this particular one is the right one. So Q R P S. Let us uh, see the statement number P. Or what about the desire for power driving people to horrible crimes? This can be the um, third one, and then the left one is the fourth one. And now just frame the question. See, money is not the root of all evils. 
Even purposeless cruelty can be seen in many instances of evil behavior. And now to justify this statement, for example, neither teachers nor parents profit in any way by torturing children. Or what about the desire for power driving people to horrible crimes? And the last one, the evils of sexual offenders are not motivated by financial gains. And the statement will end. No, we cannot, we can say, only, we can only say that the money is the root of some evil. That means just try to arrange and just f finish this with this statement. So I think option Q R P S and the right answer is Q R P S here. Okay, the next question. Oh, this seems to be a very easy one. You the, you can see the statements are very less here and it is not very bulky. Okay, let us see uh, this one. The lead story. Now, PQRS. Just go for the options. Okay. R. Uh, here starting it. it uh, we can see starting is with R and Q only. See R and q here so i need to either start from q or either start from r now here in such questions see how much time we can save just by looking at the options now go with the q the lead story in tonight's news okay or we can start it with uh, if i start with r the lead story concerns in the fire no right uh, see why no because the lead story from where these uh, this lead story is coming from right concerns the fire is not relating here okay so i'll choose q as a first one the lead story in tonight's news okay now see the options see cut these options we are not going to choose them okay now q r p s now see one more benefit we can see r we have it is very much clear that R is the second statement here then. The lead story in tonight's news concerns in the fire which engulfed the Columbia College at 4 p.m. 4 a.m. sorry. Which engulfed the Columbia College at 4 a.m. So this question is a bit easy one uh, other than which we have seen earlier. So I can just relate the statements here. Mm, so I think the option number B, Q R S P is the right option. Option number B will be the answer here. So friends, this is the main approach. This is the uh, thing you have to do in such questions. Very soon I'll be coming with some more questions and I will try that questions are, uh, you know, bit uh, more bulky so that a habit of reading should be there. And till then you just start, you just take any book and start uh, practicing such questions or you can start reading because see how much you read it affects your understanding. You know, it helps you in understanding the concept very quickly. So friends, this is it for today's session. I hope you like the video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our channel. If you like it, please like it. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it. And click the bell icon for new videos.